Saoirse, Saoirse, great seeing you. Congratulations on your Oscar nomination. What yeah. can I say? Thank Amazing. you. You're becoming an old timer at these Oscar nomination things. It's as, as well. exciting though, sitting on this couch. Is it? As it is getting nominated <laughs> for an Oscar because I love the show so much. So. Uh, do you enjoy <laughs> all the, the glitz and glamour that goes with it? Do you enjoy the red carpets and um, does that come naturally to you or not? I, you, you get used to but it. The, like, you know, the good thing about doing all this as well, especially this year, is that all of the films that have come out are, are really very strong and we've all gotten on so well with each other. We've all been at the same hmm. award shows and we've all but, done but, the but, same but, but Q &As. except your mother wasn't at the Golden Globes. She wasn't at the Golden Globes. Well, she, well, she, she, she was with Fran. She kind of was. She was with there. Fran. In, spirit. in, spirit. in, in case you're thinking Fran. Fran is the grandmother or an auntie or younger sister or whatever it is, Fran yeah. is not. Fran is? Fran is uh, our puppy. Yes. She's a dog. <laughs> she is a dog. I, I call myself my mother's first child and Fran is definitely the second. Could be replacing me very soon. So what happens then come the Oscars? Does someone have to stay at home and mind Fran? I mean, Fran was in the running for a while to come to the Oscars. Um, <laughs> But we all had a discussion about it and Fran was like, you know what, I'm actually going to take a step back. So I brought m one of my best friends, Eileen, with me to the Globes and, um, you know, Mam usually comes with me to everything, but, but Eileen came and Mam said, you know, win, lose or draw, I want to be in the room with you. So I had tried to FaceTime her right before and there was no signal in the room. And a friend of ours walked by and I said, Barry, Barry, come here. <laughs> and I wanted to check to see if he had a phone signal and he did. And so he FaceTimed her for me. And when you get up there, like I wasn't expecting it, but as soon as you get up there, the first thing you see, oh, you guys have seen it as well, is like the screen that has the countdown. So it's like 45 seconds, 30 <laughs> seconds. And you sort of go into this blind panic. Yeah. You think like, what do I need to say? Who do I need to thank? And all I could see was this tiny little phone that was being pointed <laughs> at mom. the stage. And I went, oh, ma'am's here, so it's fine. <laughs> but what yeah. about then the Oscar nomination? Where, was, where were yeah. you, yeah. where were they when the, when the news came through on that? I had just flown back to London from LA that morning and I completely forgot that the nominations were coming out because I was just on another planet and I was on a different time zone and I was, you know, knackered and stuff. And I went to my friend Scarlett's house and I was watching something on my phone and I kept looking at her. And you know when you just know that like someone's probably taking a photograph of you? Yeah. And I was like, what are you, are you taking a photograph of me? And she's like, no, no, I'm not taking a photograph. Anyway, the video finished and I looked at her and I was like, are you sure you're not recording me right now? And she took this like confetti cannon out of a tote bag that she just randomly had in her living room. And the confetti just exploded everywhere <laughs> all over me. And her mom ran in with that like balloons. That was the good news oh. then. We yeah. knew it was good. Still didn't realise that it was about the nominations. Um, <laughs> but. Let me ask you this, Saoirse. Were you ever put under any pressure to say, look, we'd better be called yourself Sheila or Mary. <laughs> that or... would sell. Yes. <laughs> Sheila Ronan. But, it, yeah. but of course, in days of old in Hollywood, they renamed everyone. They Cary did. Grant was they renamed, did. John Wayne. You know, they were, all these like, people were all Rock renamed. Rock Ronan. Like, right. people, people struggle with your name. Does it, does it do. make you laugh or does it annoy you now? It's, it, it was funny. At the start, when I was a kid, it annoyed me more. And I was very sort of like defensive over my name. And as I've gotten older, I, I just find it really funny. And it's a great way Dennis to Dennis Quaid, start. when he was announcing <laughs> the nomination, struggled. Oh, Dennis, he did. <laughs> did he call you Seashell or something? He did. He called me, he called me <laughs> Seashaw Ronan. Seashaw. <laughs> yeah. And the only thing that people said after that nomination was like, well done, but like, what was Dennis talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he was phenomenal. So for the record, while you're here, yeah. how do you say it? So for the record, right. I pronounce it Saoirse. 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 People over in the UK and America would say Saoirse or Saoirse. But then there's other people in Ireland that would Saoirse. say Saoirse, which is, yeah. you were saying, how, yeah. you, how you say it. <laughs> well, Saoirse, there we Dennis. are. Um, this is a name you can't forget. It is absolutely. Really and and Lady Bird is going to be a name that we'll not forget. The only I Lady Bird so. I ever knew before was, of course, Lady Bird Johnson. Yes. Uh, yeah. before that yeah. and I thought well, this is going to be a great political thriller <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> that's not it <laughs> but it is not it but it is something different if you were to describe that film why is it attracting so much attention why do you think people are seeing it as different because it is different as a watch yeah it, it is different I mean as a film 
I think the way it's been written and the way it's been put together is sort of like, it's like a photo album. Mm. It's like a snapshot of different moments in somebody's life or in a family's life. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. it's a bit like everyone's life, especially around this time where like there's massive changes yeah. happening and everything is so new. Um, and so I think it's an awful lot about that. And then in regards Lady Bird and having her as a central character, I think it's been really important especially for any young person, but especially young girls, to see a, a, a girl who's not necessarily strong all the time, but she knows herself she knows, and yeah. she's comfortable. She's also comfortable not knowing things and she's not validated necessarily by a guy or a romance. There's so much more well, to nice her than that, that. It's nice that she doesn't know. I think there's a lot of expectation on teenagers. To say, what do you want Have to do in answers. life? I know. Know. I, well, I think that with school, I'm sort of like, mm. I was really lucky that I just happened to find this thing that I loved really early on, but... How would anyone know what they want to do when they're 16, yeah. you know? And also it explores friendships and best yeah. friends and falling out. We've all fallen like out with the, the best That's friend. the romance, yeah. really, is her relationship with Julie, her yeah. best it's, friend. It's a lovely combination. Yeah. We have got everything crossed that you'll come away with that Best Actress um, oh. Award for yeah. that. It would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure talking thanks to you. Thanks for having yeah. me. And thanks for being so normal and stay so normal. Oh, yeah. well, and same it. to you guys. It's always lovely to watch how normal you are. So. Oh, thank you. There we go. Sisha, yeah. thank good you. luck. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.